Hello. OK, so in this example, what I'd like to do is show you how to classify a conic section. Now, uh, when I'm classifying conic sections, basically the way that I kind of work my way down from this is I start with um, first identifying if it's a parabola, then I look to a circle, um, and then I look into uh, if it's an ellipse or a parabola. And the next thing I want to do is we're going to justify, not only just classify it, but we're going to justify it. So the main important thing when I'm looking at, the first thing I want to do to determine if it's a parabola is to look Look at, my, uh, look at my variables and determine, do I have an x squared and a y squared? Because if you remember, back in algebra 1, algebra 2, you know, we looked at quadratics that gave us shapes of uh, parabolas, but they're always vertical, right? And in our two forms of this, you guys can notice that the only variable that's squared is x. So when we have a parabola, x is going to be squared or y is going to be squared. Because we learn in kind of sections, we can have horizontal parabolas. So the main important thing is I'm going to look up here, and I'm going to see that all of my variables, I only have one that's going to be x squared. So therefore, you can state that this is a parabola. Now, in our general form, uh, ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0, which is like our general form, um, there still is a y squared, but that y squared means b has to be 0. So therefore, if I was going to justify it, I would say a times b is equal to 0. And that's going to be true for any parabola, because even though there's not a y squared, there really is a y squared, but just has 0 as its coefficient. We could even say it looked like this, you know, 0 y squared plus x squared. Okay, So it is there, it's just b is equal to 0. So anytime your coefficients, um, or really anytime your coefficients um, for x squared or y squared is going to be 0, meaning it's a non-existent ter uh, ver term that's been shown. Therefore, you can justify that it being a parabola. So there's at least a classification, which is easy, and then a little bit of a justification to show. Thanks.